velocity of the de Broglie waves. We know that the waves associated with the moving particle, we will call them de Broglie waves or matter waves. And uh, in the earlier video, I have calculated the expression for the de Broglie wavelength that is lambda is equal to h y m v momentum where m is mass of mass of a particle and v is is the velocity of of a particle we know that the energy expression for the energy is equal to e is equal to h nu and on rearranging it nu is equal to e by h and we know that the Einstein uh, the relation Einstein's mass energy relation that gives that is given by e is equal to m c square say this is equation number one this is equation number two now use this expression of energy in this uh, equation number one so nu comes out to be equal to e y h and we know that e is equal to m c square according to equation number two is equal to h and we know that velocity of light expression for the velocity of light is equal to mu is equal to c lambda according to the wave mechanics mu is the frequency and we will substitute the this is mu is equal to mu lambda say so this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 4 and uh, this is expression for the de Broglie wave velocity wave velocity we denote it with symbol vp is given by nu lambda so vp is equal to nu lambda according to now we will substitute the value of nu from this equation number three and value of lambda is from this de Broglie wavelength relation so it comes out to be m c square by h and value of lambda is equal to h y m v so finally we will get this c square by v so this expression comes out to be equal to c square by v where c is velocity of light so this expression 
reflect that that the de Broglie velocity is always greater than velocity of light so this is in contradiction with the uh, concept of theory of relativity because the wave velocity according to the theory of relativity can't be greater than c so in order to understand this contradiction or in order to understand this result we have to understand phase velocity concept of phase velocity and group velocity 